Welcome back, my dear friends of the universe. Today we're gonna play a little bit more of Ark Survival. I've done one video with this before. <sighs> Not that you guys really care, do you? But I think... I, I wasn't really sure how to start making a series out of this, so I think it's a good way to start with sort of a beginner's guide, how I took my way towards where I am. I'm level 32 right now, which is mid-level. I think you get to let's see let's check the engrams and see where we have the uh, uh, last they're at level 65 we have the last recipes that you can do right now so i'm pretty decent leveled i can do pretty decent stuff so i think i'm knowledgeable enough to make a beginner's guide so that's what i'm gonna do in this video a beginner's guide uh now i do have some stuff that you won't be able to get for a while. But we're gonna start off with how to survive in this cold, bleak world. It's actually really colorful and not so bleak, so I'm not really sure why I said that. <laughs> but alright, but alright. So, what do you need to start off by doing is to get yourself a stone pick. The stone pick and the stone hatchet will be your two most important tools in order to survive in this little world. So, what we need for a stone pick is one stone, one wood, and ten thatch. Now, the stone pick is something that you know from the beginning, but once you've leveled up at least one level, then you pick the stone hatchet. The campfire and the stone hatchet. That's where we're gonna start, alright? That's where we're gonna start. As you don't have any tools when you first spawn into this world, you need to punish yourself some supplies and tools and shit. So, we're gonna start with punching a tree. Like a man. Or a woman. Uh, Amazon woman. And you're actually gonna get hurt by doing this, but don't really worry too much about that, because uh, you don't get that hurt and it doesn't really matter all right let's see do we need more no i can actually do one now um usually you can't really punch a stone to get stone but there's stone lying around all over the place place here so you could basically just go around find a stone and then pick it up let's see if i can demonstrate here that's not a pickable stone might actually not be any pickable stones just where i am but basically if you see a little rock Laying on the ground, you just go up and press E on that rock, and you can pick up the rock. Now, when you have the pick, I'm gonna demonstrate with my metal pick, since... No, actually, let's take the stone pick, because... This is gonna be as accurate as possible. You take up your stone pick, and then you start to pick the shit out of a rock. Because you want some flint. Let's see if I actually get some flint. I'm only getting stone at the moment. Give me some flint, goddammit! There we go, we started, uh, ended up with two flint. And then we need, we actually need more than just that. Let's see if we can find our stone hatchet. It's been a while since I've done the stone hatchet, so I don't really know where it is. There we go. Uh, we need wood and thatch. Wood and thatch, wood and thatch, alright. So, the pick, there's a difference between which, um... Which tool you should use for which... Why are you swimming around like that? I don't really like that. Uh. Surprise, motherfucker! Hey, the Sabertooth! Okay. Let's pause for some battle. And Raptor and the Sabertooth. Why are you guys both attacking me at the both at the same time? I mean, I could probably handle them both because they're pretty easy to actually kill, but... Run into my spikes, you son of a bitch! And there we go. The raptors are actually really weak. They look scary, and they can fly, apparently. Goodbye! Tell your mother I said hello once you've reached the other side. And the saber tooth just went haywire and attacked the parasaur instead, but it doesn't look like it's going that well for him. If I'm gonna be so honest. Alright, where were we? Picks and stone hatchets. All right. So the pick, if you pick a tree, uh, instead of hatcheting a tree, you will get 
thatch, or more thatch than wood. I can demonstrate. There we go. I got ten, 13 thatch and 2 wood. So, if I make myself a stone hatchet, which we probably should be able to do by now. Yeah, we got 1 flint, 1 wood and 10 thatch. I'm gonna make that one. I'm gonna make so good that it's gonna freaking explode in my hand. There we go. And now we have a stone hatchet. Look at that beauty. And now, if we hit the tree, we actually get wood. More wood than we get thatch. So, depending on what you actually want, if you want thatch or wood, you, you can actually pick different, um, different tools for that. Which is kind of interesting. I like that mechanic. Anyhow, now we have a pick and we have a hatchet. Where do we go from here? We need to survive. We need food. So, we need to make ourselves a campfire. Which should be pretty easy. Where do we have it? There we go. The campfire. You need 12 thatch, 1 flint, 16 stone, and 2 wood. For demonstration purposes, I have already made this one clear like a true... Um, I don't know. Old school uh, cooking show. Where they have prepared everything. Like, I'm gonna put this in the oven. But... I already have one that's done here, so let's uh, cast the one other aside. So here I actually have my campfire. Just uh, gather those uh, ingredients, and then you give yourself a campfire. Now, for the campfire, you actually need um, some meat, and the meat you get from killing dinosaurs, of course, or other players. You can actually get the meat from other players and then cook it. A little bit of cannibalism there, but <laughs> who cares, right? It's, it's the dinosaur age. Apparently, I think cannibalism wasn't something that they did frown upon that much. Now we do have a Triceratops and a Stegosaurus. They are doing a sort of dance here. But the, we, what we're going to aim for? No, first off, what we're going to aim for is this guy. Fuck you. Go die. Go die. These guys will probably be your main concern at the beginning, because these guys are literal over the spawn places on the shores. They are not a threat. Just go up to them and smack them a couple times and they are going to die. They are not a threat, but they actually give you some meat, which we needed. And I'm actually gonna gather some more meat, because I need it. So, uh, to make everything a little bit more easy, I'm gonna make my do this with my hatchet instead. Do I want to go for these guys? They're actually together. Uh, now, the dinosaurs that I would recommend to go for, which are actually pretty easy to kill, are the trikes and the dilos, that little thing that we just killed. Now, the trikes, if you want to kill yourself a trike, let's see where his friend is. He's pretty far away, we could probably do this. You just hit him in the butt. Now, you don't want to be in front of the trike, because then he can do that, and you're gonna fly. To kingdom come, which you don't really want to. And uh, if his friend might actually swing up here, no, his friend didn't care. And the ragdolls are insanely ridiculous at the moment in this game, but I don't really care. I don't really care, I think it's actually quite fun. So, there we go, and we got ourselves some meat, and we got ourselves some hide, which we're gonna use later. But first off, we're gonna... Actually, I have some food, so we don't have to cook the meat right now. The second thing, or the thing you have to do after you actually have cooked some meat for yourself, is to gather some fiber, because you need that fiber to be able to make your first set of armor, the cloth armor. Now, you just press E on any sort of plant. In these areas, you have like these... I'm, I'm not, they're called Ormbunke in Swedish. I, I guess that's supposed to be what it is, I don't know. Furnace? F fern? Furnace. <laughs> a fern, maybe? Anyhow, if you gather these, you're gonna get berries. And you're gonna get faba. And the faba is what we need to make ourselves our first little armor. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Ah, oh, we got some faba. So, once you've leveled up a bit, what you should have done by now, uh, you just pick the... Um, Armor parts, the cloth pants, the cloth shirt, the cloth gloves, the cloth boots, the cloth hat. Yeah, 
that's where we need to start. Once you've done that, you go to craftables and then we're gonna make ourselves some armor. Um, uh, let's see here. I could actually switch out my- I still use the cloth hat for some reason. I haven't learned to use the better hat. I don't know, I just feel like it's use not so useful pick at the moment. But I'm, I need it for later because once- you actually need to learn all these because once you get down a little bit in this tree to the hide ones, you need the cloth shirt for the hide shirt to be able to do it. So it's a must. It's a must to learn how to do this. All right. So once you have done your first armor, you're pretty set to go. Now you have tools, you have armor, you have food. You can survive in this world. You can survive. Eureka. Oh yeah. All right. So what do we need then? Well, we sort of need somewhere where we can put our stuff, somewhere where we can hide for the night. Because in this game, at least on official servers, you actually don't disappear when you log out. Nope, you don't. So your body is going to be unconscious on the ground somewhere where you have logged. So why not do that in a safe place? And to make ourselves a safe place, we actually need to build something. Now the first thing you can build is the thatch ones. You can do thatch foundation, you can do thatch roof, you can do thatch door frame, thatch door, thatch walls, and so on, and etc, etc. Now when you have built yourself a a little building on top of a foundation. You always need to start with the foundation. Well, then you're going to get yourself a little place to sleep. Now, if you want to be able to actually respawn in your little precious building that you've just built, then you actually need to make yourself a bed. Now, the first bed that you're going to be able to learn is the hide sleeping bag all right the hide sleeping bag so that's what we're going to start with now the hide sleeping bag can only be used once so you can only respawn once at that but it's a good one to start with uh, and for the hide sleeping bag you actually need let's see where we go you actually need fiber and hide the fiber you get from the plants as we said earlier the hide you get from animals now I do have a lot of more hide hide inside my base here so we're gonna go for there now a lot of these things are subject to change because the, we're playing an alpha right now so but it's the freaking most stable alpha in a survival game that I've played since the beginning of time so that's why I love this game. Now I have a lot of hide, so if we want to, I could just take that hide over to my inventory. And then we can craft ourselves a hide sleeping bag. Now I'm not gonna do that, because I don't really need it, but th th that's what you need to do. Alright, so now you have armor, you have food, you have tools, and you have a place to sleep. Which is going to get you somewhere in the world. And that's the basics of things. That's the basics of things. Uh, let's talk a little bit more about which uh, dinosaurs you actually should go for and try to kill with your standard set of tools and weapons. Now the trikes, as I said, as long as you stand in the butt of them, it actually will go pretty easily. It will go pretty easily. The uh, turtles... Let's see what they actually call them in this game. The Carbonemus. The Carbonemus. <laughs> Sounds like the... Um, the nemesis of... Oxygen. <laughs> oh, I'm so funny. <laughs> Anyhow. Uh, these guys could pretty easily be killed. Just do the same tactic as you did with the strikes. But they are actually a little bit better at attacking. Since they don't have as far from their head to their butt, so to speak. <laughs> so, they can be uh, quite a pain. Uh, they can be quite a pain. But it could be worth it w if you get one down. Now, the parasaurs that we see up here. They are actually really fast suckers. So, and they don't give you that much supplies, so I'm not really sure if I would recommend you trying to kill a Parasaur, honestly. Um, but we do have one up here. Now, these guys up here are rare gems. Not that rare though, but they're gems. Because they give you so much shit. They give you so much food and they give you so much hide. 
the Fiomia. Fiomia. But the trouble with the Fiomia is that they run pretty quickly once you start hitting them. Like this. And then you need to run after them. If you are lucky enough, you can actually get them sort of stuck in yourself, which will help a ton. Or they can get stuck in a rock, which will help as well. Once they actually cross the lake over there, then they are going to be too much trouble to actually be something that you can de deal yourself with. We actually got one down now. Let's see how much I actually get from this guy. As you can see, you get a lot of meat. 23 meat and 16 hide. I think actually this, these kind of guys are the uh, ones that are most prof profitable to take down. If you want, actually, I'm playing on the... Um, no, wait, I have one more thing. God, how could I forget? How could I forget? I need to s eat now as well. I need to eat now. Do we have the saber tooth down here still? Yeah, we do. I'm gonna jump in and then I'm gonna kill the saber tooth because that's how I roll. The saber tooth is gonna chase me now. <coughs> Where are you? I heard him. There we go. Hey there, buddy. You're level one. Oh my god. You don't. I don't. I'm not really sure where these guys are. Sound like eagles when you hit them. But it's just one of the mysteries of the Ark world. <laughs> Same as the fucking ragdolling. <laughs> yeah, it's just hilarious each time. Ah, it's just hilarious each time. The what I showed you here, guys, is that. When you need water, all you actually have to do is go down to the water and swim for a bit. Take a swim and then you de rehydrate. It's as easy as that. It's as easy as that. So those are the basics of the game. Now, the thing you want to do as fast as possible is try to level up. And... I've been testing out a couple of things to be leveling up as fast as possible. There, there's a lot of guides that says just do like cloth hats. Let's do a million cloth hats and you will be able to... Uh, uh, or a million uh, signs, I think. Or notes. What's the third thing? Yeah, the notes. Uh, do a million notes and you will level up in no time. I can't really say that I recommend it. For once, it's really boring to do it. It's really, really boring. So, um, I, I, I would rather say that you actually hunt dinos or start building a base. Now, you can find a good spot, start building a thatch base. Uh, once you have started to build a thatch base, you can actually replace the uh, parts later on with a higher tier. Like wood or stone or metal, for example. So... You can start building the uh, sort of base of your base with that, and then you can go from there. And if you're interested, I'm playing on official server 99. And you're more than welcome to join the Jurassic A team. Official server 99. Start playing here and we can start playing together. Because in this game, when you are in a tribe, you actually share XP, so it goes a lot faster if we uh, play together and level up, so you're more than welcome to. I am located in the Grad Hills, East Zone 1. Uh, this place of the map is a place where nobody lives, because it's a pain in the buttocks to live here, because it's so goddamn cold. But then again, I have a lot of fortitude. And I have the armor that provides me with the most hyperthermal insulation. Which actually makes me sort of able to live up here. Away from everybody else. Away from everybody else. Now, I think that's all the basics that we need to cover in this episode. Now, I'm gonna try to continue building on my little um, building here. Now, if you want to and want to join, you're more than welcome to start building either just outside here or below here. Um, and then we can start doing a sort of a little town here, a little village. I think that actually could be pretty cool.
you should have your um, bakes, basics down now. And if, as I said, if you want to start playing with me and uh, start expanding the Jurassic A team, as I so um, beautifully call my tribe, then you're more than welcome to. I can give you uh, the uh, basic supplies, I can make you some metal tools and some basic armor, and then you can go from there. It's actually going to be a huge help if you want to level up faster, so... Yeah, I guess that is that. And until next time, guys. Bye. Ah, my dear friends, the Rode Universe, thank you for watching. Don't forget to press the annotation in the left corner if you want more. Leave a like and a share to not be a square. And until next time. Bye.